So hey guys, we're here with Kyle Abair. Uh, we're actually just hanging out at Dragon Con. How's Dragon Con been first and foremost? It's Dragon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's no, it, it's totally awesome because of uh, you know the people are amazing here, and I'm geeking out because I am a geek, and I'm looking across the Walk of Fame, going, I know that person, and I know that show and that movie, and I go, ah! and then I'm too shy. I, right. I suddenly become a, uh, I'm awkward, and I can't go see them. That's what happened to me earlier. We were we were I walking around Anya. earlier, and she saw Anya from Buffy, and she was like, Oh my god. Yeah, I'm like, I'm let's go talk to her. I'm I was like, like, let's go talk. I was like, no. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm like, well, I don't care anymore. I've given it up. Oh, no. oh man. I've given up on, I've given up on, like, celebrity status. Like, uh, I'm, I, I got to meet Mark Hamill at uh, New York Comic Con. Dude. In 2011, and his wife made me do my Joker voice of him that I do, and, yeah. Which so. I'm sure he hears a lot. I'm, I'm sure he does, but I, I mean, I, I just talked to him as if like the Joker was actually talking to Mark, and he loved that. Oh, was, okay, like, good. So it was basically, and this was like three days before Arkham City came out, <laughs> and everybody in the audience has probably heard this story already, so I will stop there. Yeah, but um, but it was a lot of fun, and that kind of like after after like getting to meet Mark Hamill mm -hmm. and realizing, you know, he's just a person. Like everybody Everyone's a person. Everybody's yeah. just I mean every, I mean yeah. you're not just a person, but I mean you are everybody you are first and poops. Foremost. Exactly. <laughs> they do. And uh, it doesn't always smell like roses no matter who tells you that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I mean, no, there was um, there was just kind of this moment where it was like it, they're people, man. Just Yeah. Yeah. You don't have that, to be super still... super intimidated about it. And, and that took a lot of the edge off. They can be, they can be, but if you if you just find something common and trivial, then suddenly, like you're in an elevator at, with fellow guests, and it's like suddenly you're bonding with someone that you really look up to and watch their movies, and they're talking about oh the time or oh isn't this this food terrible? Or, no, I mean no, the food's actually awesome. But uh, I'm, or I'm don't you terrible. dare jump. Yeah, <laughs> right. Don't jump now. That would be bad. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> no, it, it's cool. It's it, it's really really awesome to be. It's my second time at Dragon Con, mm -hmm. and um, I love it. I just haven't been able to exit through the Walk of Fame and go explore. Right. And hopefully, maybe like t later tonight after right. my panel or something, I can I can go see the all the craziness. Well, what's been one of your favorite experiences from uh, this year at Dragon Con so far? Gosh, well, I'm seeing like some some fantastic cosplay that I don't normally see on the anime circuit. Right, uh, just fantastic things. Uh, you know, a, a walking Jeopardy thing. You know, you have <laughs> Alex Trebek and Sean Connery, and then like the third booth, which you can be. So you can go and step behind the little booth, and then everyone poses together. Oh my God! So cool. Thank and you, Saturday Night Live, for giving me this brilliant idea. When I find them, I'll be like, you've got lights, you got cameras, yeah. bitchin' technology. And then you got the yeah. knights with the arm cut off from the Monty Python oh, walking the with dark Gandalf, knight. yeah, walking saying with no Gandalf. passing zone, no passing zone. Nice. It's brilliant. <laughs> uh, and then the obvious one I put on my Instagram yesterday: mm -hmm. Hulk Hogan as the Hulk. <laughs> the most obvious thing, like of course Hulk, Hulk Hogan. You know, you know, he needs to get his yeah. shirt signed by Lou Ferrigno while he's here. Just I think that <laughs> makes sense. Mm -hmm. That works. That would. Uh, we saw. We actually saw a, a person getting into a giant Hulk suit the other day. That literally is could touch the ceiling right here. Like it was that freaking tall. I'm like, stilts and he needed like other people uh, to help him. And I was like, hey, yeah, yeah. When when Thor has to come and put your arm on for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I was like, you should have just taken it away and be like, I like this. Another. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm thankful for this experience. You know, mm. everyone working behind the scenes, especially. I tell them when I'm at opening and closing ceremonies at every con, thank all the people behind the scenes, mm -hmm. the staffers who really he keep the. Yes, going. definitely. Uh, All the wonderful staff, you know, helping me from point A to point B. So we can do things like this. We can just sit chill in a quiet room. We're talking about you, honey. <laughs> over there, over there, play with your hair. That's yeah, right. there we go. We yeah. got away. There we it's go. Like that, that, that's the thank you and hurry up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, what other what projects have you been working on that you can actually talk about? Because that's important. And things, things and stuff. Uh, well, gosh, Dangan Ronpa Two, I think it's Beyond Despair. I'm terrible mm. with names. Uh, that's out this week on PS Vita. Right. Uh, nice. uh, we wrapped Tenkai Nights recently, which has been a hit on Cartoon Network. Nice. Naruto Shippuden continues. Yes. Uh, Attack on Titan. I hurry up and died on on that show. <laughs> But uh, DBC Kai will be starting soon, mm. so you'll finally get to see it uncut on Toonami. 
So, now, yeah. uh, speaking speaking of DBZ, because I actually had somebody like we were in the. Yeah food court mm-hmm. and uh, have you seen like some of the newer episodes of the abridged series now that they've no. actually introduced cell no i haven't oh my god it was super creepy like very <laughs> very good like the introduction of cell at the very end of the previous episode was yeah. just basically mr sandman bring me a drink and then they started off very funny in the next one and uh, piccolo's like uh you uh what are you doing here he's like let me answer that question with another question you want to see me drink this guy? Yeah. And then stabs him, and, oh, and yay, I redlined the whole thing. Nice. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, that, ah, man, it's gotten it's gotten a lot funnier now that they've introduced like the Android Saga and then, okay. like, the whole Trunks thing. So you oh, we'll have to catch up. I with this. I know you guys. I I I've heard that y'all have checked it out before. You thought it was really yeah. funny. Oh god, yeah. Oh god, yeah. It, it gets. It's not fu- to it's mention funny that the uh, not to mention there's is... a lot of references to nerd nerdiness like when Trunks uses the time machine to leave mm-hmm. you hear the Doctor Who TARDIS mm-hmm. sounds yeah I'm think I think it's funny that the abridgers is more popular than the actual thing they're abridging right right um, now yeah. there was there I think there was a panel I saw on YouTube where uh, they were they were introducing DBZ Kai yeah and Sabbath was talking about it mm-hmm. and uh, and unbeknownst to him you know uh, they had. Uh, Takahata, who does the voice of Nappa and Guru and some and several others, and a great okay. Loki cosplayer too. A, a great Loki cosplayer, and is now Cell. Yes. But uh, he he go he goes. So DBZ is uh, is uh, rewritten. All the audio is all, uh, completely re-recorded. Yes, it's completely rewritten. He goes. Way to be four years late to that party. <laughs> you know, like, and yeah, it was really really funny. But I mean. Um, there's there's just this huge love around uh, Dragon Ball Z, and uh, I do agree, kind of a little with Sabbath. It's the show that will never die. Right. It, it's going to it's going to continue on forever. It's the benchmark, man. It, it introduced so many people, along with Sailor Moon, and yep. you know all that the stuff that the Yu-Yu gateway Hawker drug. Show. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I have multiple times referred to Dragon Ball Z as like if anime is like. Uh, narcotics, then Dragon Ball Z is weed. It is your gateway drug to everything. <laughs> it gives you the munchies, man. It gives you the munchies. And that's why, that's where the muffin button joke comes from. Now you all know. Uh, but yeah, no. so Xenoverse, that's the new GBZ game. Yes. And, uh, and Sabbath got, said it will be incredible. And they, they have another movie coming out. Now, Battle Next of year, Gods just came out. Battle of Gods came out and did well, um, Gangbusters. It, yeah. got, it was in the top ten of the U.S. box office. It was, uh, it was incredible how well it, it actually did. Thank I was you. Like, Thank you, yeah. Yeah. I was like, why do I have to be in the middle of nowhere? Can I can I please just go back to Nashville for like a day so I can see? <laughs> but unfortunately, yeah. new. No. Um, but I live in the middle of nowhere, and that's my fault. <laughs> uh, but uh, now we've got a new movie coming out because they're already putting one together. Akira Toriyama announced it over in Japan, so they've got a new one coming out. So we'll have something year? to look forward to. Yeah, so in the next couple of years. So we'll, we'll just get we to at that least point. know another thing that we could count you in for. There I we. hope so. It'll get licensed and. Uh, yeah. And is there anything uh, last minute stuff that you'd like to uh, share with our audience? I want to thank all the fans here at Dragon Con, the staff of Dragon Con for taking wonderful care of us. And uh, hopefully I'll get to come back. He's coming back. Like I said it so he has to be here now. Like th- nobody else in Dragon Con has a choice now. Yeah. Checks in the mail. Checks in the mail. All right guys, we're getting the <laughs> sign.